But yeah, we got the USA box right here from New Balance. Size nine and a half. Oh my God. I did an unboxing, even though I never really. <laughs> what is good YouTube? Welcome to the channel. It's Miko and I'm finally back in Toronto. Um, as you guys know, if you leave the country and you come back, you need to quarantine for 14 days. And since I'm stuck in the house, um, I'm kind of just, you know, running around the house, trying to figure out what to do. Obviously, I had to unpack and I had to clean my sneakers that I brought to Paris. Luckily, I also came home to two gorgeous sneakers that I'm very, very excited to open. Um, I got it earlier today, but I wanted to wait until I can film this video. Um, shout outs to a very, very special person kind of took care of one of these sneakers for me. I did bring my shadow ones. Kind of got, you know, banged up a little bit. So I'm going to be inserting a footage of me, you know, just Jason marking the shit out of the sneakers and um, we'll, we'll come back to the sneaker unboxing, okay? We'll come back. Can't really do much about the scuffs right here. Got some scuff here, some deep, deep scuffs right there. But we don't really, like we like that. We like that right there. Um, it adds character to the sneaker. Look at that beautiful creasing right there on the toe. Like I always try to do when I want to break in or like really put in the work on a sneaker, I bring it on a trip. I wore it in the rain. Um, through the mud and, and all that. I was riding scooters the whole time and um, obviously you get scuffs and if I wasn't wearing this shoe, this would have been my ankle right here. I would have had a bloody ankle. That's about it for this cleaning part. Peace. All right, as you guys can see, Jason Mark worked wonders on the sneaker as well as the Magic Eraser. Um, Jordan 1s, they just really age the age well that's that and it's time for an unboxing all right um first sneaker is a sneaker that i won off of a giveaway um all right so we have the wine bottle opener which is kind of perfect for opening boxes because it has this small little knife right here so we're gonna use that to open this one. This sneaker actually is one of one of just my dream sneakers, and I never really got to own it in the past, but I've I've loved it from afar. And the fact that um, I got to win it off of Sean Go and Soul Stops um, giveaway contest is kind of crazy to me. Okay, all right, holy shit, okay. Shout out Soul Stop, shout out to um, Toronto's very own Sean Go. thank you so much. But yeah, we got the USA box right here from New Balance, size nine and a half. Oh my God, look at that my god these are in these are incredible bro. come on it's actually glowing in front of me because because i had the ring light in front of me the uh, 3m is just exploding in my eyes jesus i'm gonna be doing like a proper 
review for this sneaker, the 990 V2s. <sighs> Classic 990 V2 navies. These are going straight to the rotation. My God. By the way, I lost I lost my ring that I've got off of off of this flea market in Paris. It's kind of kind of bumming me out. I've been I've been searching for it almost the whole day. So that's kind of bumming me out. But the fact that I get to unbox these bad boys right here. So gorgeous, man. Gorgeous sneaker. Uh, it actually comes with two tags right here. These are going straight to the rotation. I'm gonna be rocking this heavy. Look at that, look at the inside. Any Anything that's made in the USA from New Balance, it's just incredibly well made. Look at that. Look at that, look at that shape. So gorgeous. Woof. All right, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know how much I love 990s and um, yeah, this is, yeah, I never really do unboxings just because I don't find them super interesting, you know, like this, this video is kind of boring. I just wanted to make something while I'm stuck here. Coming back to two beautiful grail of a sneaker. Um, it's 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 in, like for a sneakerhead for for someone that loves footwear and i just wanted to share this moment with you guys so uh, i did an unboxing even though i never really <sighs> all right all right jesus guys as soon as you see the box you're, you you guys are already gonna know right so bam a man a man oh. This is obviously the basketball, uh, ALD basketball, New Balances, their archive pull, B550s. Why is it BB550? Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous box. My God. My God, people. My God. I'll be back. Wifey actually unboxed hers earlier. She got this one right here. I'm gonna show you guys just just for the fun of it. So we got two pairs of um, Amelia Andor uh, P550s right here. We got the the vote card. So vote. But yeah. We got two right here. Double, triple New Balance unboxing right here. We got the base size right here in green. Creamy, creamy New Balance goodness right here. That green is just gorgeous. Look at that. I want to appreciate my pair. So I just wanted to show you guys the green. But yeah, she she we we both won off of the raffle. Her only entry actually is for the green, and I entered for the navies. My God! Wait a minute, these are two navy sneakers. What? What is going on, bro? This and the Union Force is probably my. Sneaker of the year pick. The leather isn't like insane, but it's 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 a thick cut leather. Look at the back. Extra lace. You got the cream and the navy. It's not like a premium sneaker. It is an archive pull um, by Amelia Andor. So that's, that's like the main draw for the sneaker, you know, for me personally. Full 
review on both on the way. But yeah, I just wanted to, to really share these sneakers right here. I just wanted to to share this moment of, of me unboxing two, two sneakers that I love and will continue to love, you know. A ton of videos on the way. Um, Montreal is almost done, so I just need to do the voiceovers and stuff. But um, ton, ton, ton of videos on the way, reviews on the way. I was on a trip, so, you know, I really wanted to enjoy that trip. Didn't want to edit on the road and um, at the Airbnb, at the apartment um, or at a cafe. I just wanted to, to take in all of the Parisian, you know, the Parisian vibes, all the French vibes, you know, um, with all that's going on in 2020. Um, it, it's, it's crazy that I was even able to, to travel. Like, um, this obviously is, I just need to edit this out. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Um, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Peace.